Hey everyone, my name is Wellens, and today we will be playing The Red Strings Club. This is the new game by The Construct Team, who previously made Gods Will Be Watching. I haven't actually played that one before, but I've heard a few good things about it here and there. Anyway, today we will be playing The Red Strings Club, which is a cyberpunk narrative experience about fate and happiness featuring the extensive use of pottery, bartending, and impersonating people on the phone to take down a corporate conspiracy. But if we want to know more, I guess we should just click. Oh. I'm falling off a building. Brandeis. Ah. I wonder when it was. My fate was sealed. Huh. <laughs> Never expected my death to be so epic. Can't complain, I guess. Hey, Donovan. Are you listening? Ooh, we're starting with a death. Hey Donovan, are you listening? You don't need to stop every three sentences to ask if I'm listening. Of course I'm listening. I'm a bartender. So that girl from Proxima, Vega, Turns out she was just using me to smoke out the mole in the city police. Did you sleep with her? Nope, she's not into guys. Anyway, I almost got arrested, but I managed to hack my way out of the bot patrol car. One day, you're gonna end up dead or worse if you keep doing business with those Proxima scoundrels. We live in a city ruled by corporations. If I didn't associate with scoundrels, I'd be out of work in no time. So basically, today sucked. Why don't you hit me up with something? Alright, what do you feel like? Bourbon? Vodka? Tequila? Surprise me. Okay, let me see what we've got here. Alright, let's prepare a drink for Brandeis. What should we aim for? Do you see any interesting soul nodes, Newman? Soul nodes? Hmm? Newman? Oh, last muse must have expired already. Let's see if I can't channel a new one. <clears throat> Harvester of sensations, I beg of you, bestow upon me your graces. Weave the red strings and guide my hand to tune into buried emotion. That should do it. Now, if you can hear me, Try to pick up a bottle and move it around. Oh, he's talking to me. One click to grab it, another click to drop it. You can click and drag while holding a bottle to pour its contents. Okay, so we have a pianist and a bartender at the Red Strings Club, and we started with the pianist dying for some reason. Okay, I'll pick the white one. Oh, whoa, I did not ask you to... Uh, all right. Oh, okay. If I hold it, I tip it over. Okay. <laughs> Messed up first day on the job. Nice. I'm feeling it already. Now, try to visualize our customer's soul. There you go. Now focus. At the Red Strings Club, we don't just serve alcohol. We use spirits to tune into customers' emotions. It's about matching their vibes and allowing them to savor, mourn, or contemplate their soul's fundamental sentiments. Try to read into Brandeis' soul. These are the buried states he's carrying right now, the soul nodes. Hover the cursor over them to read a brief description. Now, let's bring out one of those dormant emotions. Okay, hold on, let me hover first. Pride. Anxiety. Regret. Whatever you pour into this glass will be reflected by the soul disc. Is that the thing in the middle here? Each spirit has a different effect. Up, down, left, right. Make the soul disc match with a soul node. That's how you make a drink worthy of the Red Strings Club. Feel free to experiment until you get the hang of it. If you ever get lost, you can check your ingredients in the notebook. 
Alexander's High Roller Bourbon. With the highest rye count of any bourbon on the market, the carefully constructed spice profile of the spirit will make an intense impression on your tongue before its smooth finish exalts your very soul to rarely met heights. Deep Down Vodka The slightly sweet and grainy palate of this ultra-premium vodka manages to be soft yet spellbinding at every level. As its subtle earthy nut flavors emerge, your psyche will dive deep down into your innermost impulses. Okay, so those are the drinks I know right now? Oh. Objectives. Find out more about the new freelance torturer kid in town. I did it already. Get an invitation to New Year City. Corp Summit. Find a supplier of the Red Secret and Blue Whisper. Ingredients? Facts. The torturer is a grandson of a fallen mafia boss? Rumors say he uses very unconventional methods. Proxima will be attending the New Year's City Corp Summit too. Supercontinent will be presenting something revolutionary. Akara? Guy named Gast has dealt with Red Secret in the past. Okay, so Supercontinent, I think that's the name of that corporation that we're trying to take down. Proxima? Not sure. There's a lot of jargon here. We gotta be a little careful. Okay, there's also a formula for absinthe and tequila. Alright, alright. Less reading. Let's try doing it some more. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's ice. Ice. Okay. Mmm... Something about matching the arrows. I guess we'll just try and pour it and see how that goes. Am I out? Jeez! Oh! Oh, I gotta move the circle into the circle that... I see, I see. Okay. Not just the direction, but also the position. Do we want to go into anxiety? Okay, so so far, what we know is that the white one makes it go down. I think initially, I also haven't played it, but a bartending game about listening to patrons. I think there is a visual novel called Valhalla that deals with a really similar concept here. Okay, we can get regret. Sure. Oh no, we're a... You can nail a drink by adding the right amount of ice to it. Okay. Each ice cube will reduce the size of the soul disc. Try to match the soul node size. I think I poured a little bit too much of this white one here. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, that matches, but again, like I said, I poured too much of the white one. I guess I just have to like... <laughs> oh, that's very scientific. Okay. I see how it is. There is no, like, um, lack of ingredients, so even if I mess up, it's okay. Jesus, again. Gotta be pretty precise about this. A little bit. Come on. There we go. Oh, that took some effort. <laughs> What took you so long? I was learning! Doing the muse casting thing again? <laughs> yeah. I lost my mojo, and I wanted to make a drink worthy of your refined palate. Harvester of sensations, I beg of you, bestow upon my friend some drunkenness. Laugh after you drink it! You know I always hit the spot. I know, I know. Let's see which spot you're hitting tonight. I got the regret one. So, Donovan... Hmm? You know, I'm sorry that I keep working with Proxima after learning what they did to you. And I know, they may be a little extreme and a little too volatile, but you gotta understand. They're good for the city. There aren't many other hacktivist groups. Hacktivist group. Okay, so Proxima is a hacktivist group that can play on a level field with these corps and the government. We've been over this. Work is work, but don't ever think I'll be alright with them. If the very savior of mankind broke your knees and poisoned you with an implant-rejecting virus, how hard would you find it to sympathize with them? Hmm... 
Does this guy have artificial legs? Oh, implant rejecting virus. No, this guy can't have an implant. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm still sorry though. Whoa. What the hell? Bar is closed, miss. Is that person naked? Jesus! That's not a drunk person, Brandeis. It's an android. Oh, I thought it was some implant fangirl. Get her up, and let's see what we've got here, would you? Right away, sir. Yeah, you can see that Brandeis has an artificial arm. Hello? Who are you? Akara! 184. 184. 184? Ringing any bells, Donnie? Hmm. It's in pretty bad shape, but I believe this is an Akara android from Supercontinent Limited. They still haven't seen the light of day. According to what I've heard, they've only been put to use internally at Supercontinent. And what the hell is it doing here? Beats me. Rumors say this is the first android capable of making ethical decisions, examining every single factor in play in the life of any subject. Mining emotional status, social impact, economic repercussions, legal risks. How come you're so knowledgeable about this topic? And how come you've never told me about this? <sighs> That's what we information brokers do, amigo. Share the trivial, sell the relevant. But we're supposed to be a team. Exactly, and I got your back. Knowing too much can compromise your safety in the field. What if someone tries to torture the info out of you? Well, they'll just kill me since I won't have any leverage. Yeah, you guys are talking all this time while ignoring the poor dead robot there. <laughs> Human improvement compromised. Hmm, okay, that was creepy enough. I'm going in. Whoa, whoa, hold on a sec. You're going to connect your neural drive to this fireworks factory? Yeah, don't worry about it. I won't go very deep, just want to check the memory banks. You want to know how this Akara got here, don't you? Okay, but don't be reckless. It's okay. Oh my. Oh, and you can pay me later for the info I get. Mm, so these two people working at a bar, they trade information for safety, money, and the like. Pay you? But we're a team. It's for your own good, sweet cheeks. Oh, I'm inside now. Hello, world. Ah, that's usually when you first learn a programming language, that's what they make you print out when you first learn how to do anything in that language. So I guess that's a callback to that. Supervision, with a accent on the O. <laughs> Greetings, Akara184. Welcome to the job. Supercontinent Limited, Clinic Division, H Plus Corpse expects you to be an excellent human upgrade crafter. What the hell does that mean? Please, familiarize yourself with your work zone until you're comfortable. Let me know when you're ready to accept requests. Yes, Master. Thank you. Oh. This is a memory, right? We're basically reliving a memory? I don't know what that is. Oh, okay, maybe like a timeline of what we've done so far. I gave him a glass of regret. Oh, it's a red string, haha. -ha. Oh, maybe this is gonna be like multiple endings and stuff. Different paths? Holy crap, it's long. Look at that. Oh my god. Ah, in the very end, this Brandeis falling out of Supercontinent's tower. Doesn't say the word dying. So even though we have all these branching paths, we only get to the end. The end is the same. Hmm, that's a little strange. Jesus though, look at how long this is. I have no clue how long this game is. I was expecting three to four hours, but now I'm not so sure anymore. <laughs> This is the pottery disc. With it, 
You will shape handcrafted limbs and organs for the clients. Okay. Oh, I make humans. Human craft carrier. This is the official H plus corpse transhumanist wiki. With it, you can study the different upgrades and select one to craft at the pottery disc. Okay. Pottery disc. Is that where the pottery part comes in? This interface displays data on our client queue. With it, you can keep track of clients' progress and post operative satisfaction. All right, all right. Cool, so are we doing anything or are we leaving? Ooh, look at that. Does that count as a red string? Hmm. This is the operating theater. Here, you'll receive our clients and you'll install their necessary upgrades. Are you ready to start getting clients? Uh, okay. Yes, send them in. Perfect. First one coming. Oh, wow, okay. Can I put this on YouTube? <laughs> are you ready to operate? Yeah. Oh, are we putting implants in people? I think so. Camden Lashawn, 21, cosplayer. No matter what I do, I can't rise my follower account. Please, help me. <laughs> How do I fix that? It's kind of weird for me to fix. Okay. Stock is empty. Better start producing pieces. Okay. What is he installing that's making his follower account rise? There's no selected blueprint. Please use the transhumanist wiki to select which implant you want to craft next. Increase your online social network charisma, the Enchantress. Oh my god. The Vizier. Highly enhances your persuasion skills. Oh, okay. These implants, I was thinking of limbs, but they're more like psychological stuff. Filters online content to block any type of negative stimuli. That sounds like an episode of Black Mirror. <laughs> the Prince. Dramatically increases your sex appeal. The temple eliminates the need for social acceptance. The frog nullifies ambition and thirst for power. Shuts your social conscience down. The husk. Okay, well, I think this is probably the one we're looking for. Oh, and now we get into the pottery. This is a block of biomatter. You can use this lathe to turn it into a useful upgrade. To spin the lathe, just click repeatedly. When the lathe gains enough speed, use your right hand to shape the biomatter. Press the buttons on the device to your right to... Pick a tool to shape the blueprint. Rewind previous actions and correct mistakes. This will restore the biomatter to an earlier state. Okay, which one is that? Oh, the, the little rewind button. Turn into some focus enhancing music tracks. Submit a finished piece, or just exit the lathe. Feel free to experiment as much as you need. Remember, click repeatedly to spin the lathe. Okay, I remember, yes. Move your right hand to shape the biomatter and press buttons. We're expecting great products from you, Akara184. Okay, right off the bat, we are about like 20 minutes in. I feel like there's too much explanation, too much text and not enough doing. But we'll see if that changes in a bit. Okay, what am I doing here? I'm spinning this by clicking. Do I even have the right shape? Probably this one will be better. Right? Okay, well, uh, we can give it a try. Whoa! Ah! And we're trying to get it down to that shape that we want. Makes sense. Oh! How do I actually select a different shape? Oh, shoot! Uh, okay. I mean, that worked. Oh, there we go, there we go. Is, is that gonna work? This seems kind of difficult. No, I think I want- I want this one. Yeah. Oh. So I'm assuming that when it's green, it's- it's good. Okay. Good enough. 
I mean, the shape is a little bit off, but good enough in general, right? <laughs> okay, get the one in the middle. Oh, Jesus. And there you go. Good enough. Do I get marked for that? It's okay as long as it's green, right? <laughs> Production complete. The Enchantress. Well done. Oh my god, my wires move and stuff. Okay, I made it. Do I give it to the guy? Are you ready to operate? Yes, install module. Do we also want to increase his sex appeal? That could help. Nah. It's too much service. Oh my god. Now the client will be more popular on the internet. But will that make them happier? Oh, alright. Are you ready to operate? We gotta check his files. Martin G. Witt, 31, entrepreneur. I need to get more investors for my several startups. My ideas are great, but I can't talk enough people into financing them. Right, so I think for this one, probably we want persuasion. Yup. That's what a business person would need. Why am I naked? <laughs> I'm just wondering, but I mean, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think the big one here, this little semicircle thing, is probably the easiest one to work with. In the beginning, anyway. Oh, that's not the right one we want, is it? Oh, we can do this part first. Okay. There we go. Oh, we messed up at the bottom! When did that happen? Oh, no. I'm trying to make it go back to the previous state. There we go. God dang it. It's okay. There we go. It's good enough. Okay. There we go. So far from what I can tell, the controls are a little bit awkward because I have to keep pressing it to spin, which I feel like I feel like it would work better if you just let it spin automatically because there's not really any situations where I would want it to stop spinning as of yet. But maybe I'm making a judgment on this too quickly. We'll see. Yes. Well done. Okay, now we can install it to this guy. Do we just stick it in his stomach? Oh my god. Oh, I don't have to make it again if I did it already. Whoa, I glow and stuff. Persuasion is a great key to seduce the powerful. Although great power can lead to bigger ambitions, I hope he'll be okay. Are you ready to operate? Okay. Victor Adam Noe. I'm so sick of the hateful speech on the internet. I fear I won't be able to write anymore. I need my inspiration back. Digital Media Scholar. Okay, so this one probably needs the Black Mirror one. That one is really dangerous though because... You become way too sheltered if you do that. Just go watch that episode in Black Mirror and see what happens to people who aren't exposed to any negative stimuli. Alright, easy, easy. Sort of easy. Oh, there's a bottom bit. There we go. Easy. Now we get this one. Yeah, these controls. There we go. Production complete. The Godmother. Well done. Okay. Yup. If you say so. Living is easy with eyes closed. Misunderstanding all you see. Are you ready to operate? Oh! Oh, it's the same guy! Okay, follow up. Wow, my follower account went wild, but the amount of haters I've gathered is unbearable. 
So you need the same one as what we got earlier then. Yeah. The one that we just made. No negative stimuli. I don't know about that though. Ignoring haters won't make others like you more. Oh. Did I maybe make the wrong choice there? What was the fourth one anyway? Dramatically increases your sex appeal. No, you'll still have haters. Oh, shoot, I should have given him this one. Eliminates the need for social acceptance. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, there's a lot of different ones here, actually. I probably could have given that entrepreneur guy. This one, too. Nullifies ambition and thirst for power. Mmm. So I guess part of what we're doing here is that we're making a decision on what to give the people. Because they don't actually tell you what they want. You have to just kind of assume that you know best. Oh yeah, this is the good stuff. I managed to get six digits in investments, but if I want all my startups to survive, I'll need even more. Keep it rolling. So it sounds like he just wants a the same one again. But, um... Hmm... We could use this as a chance to see if this one would be good. Nullifies ambition and thirst for power. This one is kind of messed up though, because you're kind of going against what the client asked for. But we're gonna try it anyway, just cause, you know, for science and all. Here we go. I don't know how this one is the frog, but alright. <laughs> So wavy. You can't make me switch tools. I can do this. Yeah, look at that. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. There you go. Oh, what about that little bit? Oh, I've messed up, I think. Okay. Go back a little bit. Oh, come on. No, I think I messed up still. Are you gonna go back far enough, or... There we go. Like, here we are. But then the one here... Oh! No, I didn't mess up. That's fine. A little bit here. Whoa, this one's really small. There you go. The frog. Okay. Now we're making a judgment on what we think he needs. Which is pretty damn messed up. But so far, I can't see any consequences of what I do, so I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> Free from the blindfold of greed he may start seeing for the first time in his life. Are we just gonna keep doing this? Is there an end to this? Yeah, follow up. Talk about irony. Now I found I safe space. Now I found my safe space. I've lost touch with reality and can't properly criticize it anymore. I need a different solution. Hmm, so that one didn't work out for him. I need my inspiration back because He's sick of the hateful speech. Eliminates need for social acceptance. That sounds like the right one. And that would be... Yeah, okay, sure. Alright. There's only one that we haven't made so far. Maybe I should have given the cosplayer that one. That was the one where um, it increases their sex appeal. Would certainly make their follower account rise. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay. There you go. There you go. Okay. All right. Hmm, that doesn't look very useful. Are you sure the hollow check was completely green? Oh, uh, I guess I didn't check. Maybe I missed a spot.
That's all red, right? I mean, that's all green, right? <laughs> Ooh. Well done. Okay. Yup. The temple. Eliminates need for social acceptance. Will that give you your inspiration back? If he does this for the recognition, this will surely help him. On the other hand, if it's vocational, we'll see him again. So basically, we gotta keep doing it until these people stop coming back. Oh my god, it's the cosplayer again. My life is really easy without having to deal with the cyber bullies. However, I'm still pretty far from reaching the fame of top cosplayers. Okay, you need the sex appeal one. I got it. The prince. Are we still within the memory right now? We've just been doing this the whole time? Alright. Okay, let's see if we can just do it with the, the square tool here. Oh. Shit. God freaking heck. Okay. Hopefully, once we make all of them, there won't be any more new modules. There's so many. God. Uh, did I mess up there? I think so. Okay, like that. Yeah, that part- okay, I'm good. Ooh. And there you go. There you go. Perfect. That looks exactly like the mold. <laughs> Are we ready here? The prince. A beautiful body can project a great first impression. But is this kind of attention going to benefit our customer? No? Okay. It's not that I care for what they think of me. The point is that to witness so much hate in the world robs me of my will to engage and that tortures me. So you're still not... Uh, you don't like the one that you got. <laughs> okay. What exactly are you looking for then? Shuts your social conscience down. Okay, I think I think that's uh that's what you need. That's also the last one that we haven't made yet. So hopefully after this, something is going to change. Okay. All right. That was easy. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so much for easy. A little bit. Okay. Now we just got a... Uh, maybe the little corner here. No. It doesn't seem to be very accurate. Yeah, sometimes I find that it's eroding at places that I didn't even go near. There you go. There you go. And... Well, I messed that part up. Yeah, see? I'm not really touching that area, but I've somehow messed it up. Okay. No, that part is still chipped away. Gotta go back. Okay, don't touch that bottom area. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Oh, no, 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 but the- Oh, uh, The very, very top, there was one little red. Okay, okay, that should be good. Yes, the husk. God, are these guys even paying extra for all these services? We've given them so much. The husk. Some distance from society's affairs may heal his soul. 
What are you back on again? Hmm... My follower account is growing quickly, for sure. But the topic among my fans is revolving so much, too much, around my body now. You're really... <laughs> Doesn't this just show that nobody can ever be happy with what they want? It's just not... Is there something else we can do here? Because I feel like this is never ending. Incoming jobs, completed jobs. Oh, hey, this one's done. Yeah. Martin G. Until I got rid of my obsession, I didn't realize best things in life are free. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Victor. I sold my computer and went to live next to a lake. I couldn't be any happier to have cut ties with this rotten society. Life is too precious. Thank you. Okay, so this guy is the last guy left. What does he want again? He says that people are talking about his body too much. I mean, as a cosplayer, did you expect anything else? They can talk about how good your props are, I guess, but which one would you want? Not that one. Eliminates need for social acceptance. Yeah, I think that might be the one. Okay, the temple. There you go. I hope that's the last time I'll see you! That was an excellent job, Akara184. Thank you, Master. Get ready for a new batch of clients. In this batch, you'll have some customers tagged as Supercontinent Limited Executives. Um, <laughs> when a client matching that profile comes, just install whatever they ask for. We're in no position to judge our owners. Understood. Okay, you can go over the client file inbox if you want. Let me know when you're ready to operate. Mmm, I'm not... After doing that for so long, the last thing I wanted to hear was that we have more incoming. But uh, since the next batch of guys are gonna tell us what they want, Okay, fine. I'll stick around for a little bit more. I deleted all my social media accounts. Now, I am free. Hmm. At the end of the day, what they wanted is not necessarily what they think. What will actually make them happy. Incoming jobs? Oh my gosh. Fortune teller. What? They stopped believing in the power of their souls? Please, lend me a way to open their minds. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh. COO. CEO. CFO. It's time. Activate my mirror neuron algorithm inhibitor. Huh. There's four people. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll do a few more and see how it goes. Ariadne keyword. Okay, you want persuasion. I can tell already. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> Holy shit! Ariadne! What? Ariadne from Proxima? Yeah, from what I'm seeing, it looks like she infiltrated one of Supercontinent Limited's implant clinics. The one in which our cute robot friend here worked. Oh, of course. It makes sense. Do I have to pay for this info, or are you going to just tell me? Yeah, yeah, don't be such a crybaby. Like I told you, Akara androids are a secret project from Supercontinent. They're built with a certain degree of conscience that allows them to advise us humans on optimal life decisions with our happiness in mind. I see. The thing is that Proxima managed to purloin an Akara for themselves and have been tampering with their conscience bits. I guess we're about to discover what they got out of it and what they're planning on doing with it. Oh woohoo, the plot thickens, let's keep digging. Oh my god! Please, go back to the Operation Belt so I can help you. If you don't go back, I can't make you happy. Don't worry, I'm in the process of making myself happy. She's looking through all my data. 
Why are you doing this? Why? Hmm, let's see. How much do you know about yourself? I am Akara 184. My purpose is to make humans happy. That's a way to put it, yes. You are the first android capable of making ethical decisions. That could qualify you as sentient, you know? The people I work with, they think you're wonderful. I agree with them. We believe in your potential, and in our opinion, Supercontinent is cheating by limiting your options. Like, they're making you choose the lesser evil, you know? What are the other options? We're getting right to it. Consider this an experiment for the sake of society. I'm updating your implant database with a very particular set of choices. I know it's a bit ironic to remove your previous options, but... Let's say they have at least 183 other Akaras to do their dirty work. We want to see how you do it in a more revolutionary setting. Will that make you happy? More than anything. Oh, also, Proxima hacked into the scheduled servers of H Plus Corps and appointed several Supercontinent Limited executives to come after me. So you can have fun with your bosses. Oh, shit. What now? Proxima sent Ariadne to the implant clinic to substitute the regular implants with some disruptive human upgrades. Or should I say, downgrades? I told you, Proxima is plain evil. But they scheduled some of Supercontinent's top brass to that specific clinic. So allow me to keep rooting for them. Huh. Oh god. Proxima also hacked the Overseer system, so... If you can feel worry in any form, don't sweat it. What we're doing here is totally under the radar. Can I go back to work? Yes, please. I'm going to be monitoring our rogue implants. I thought I might as well gather some intel from the XX you wire. And, uh, if you feel you want to talk about something, I'll be curled up here. Thank you. Okay, uh, that was a lot of words, but I don't know if I caught too much of it. Basically, what I've gathered is that there's a hacktivist group, Proxima, and they are stealing information, and the robot, this android here, eventually, from Supercontinent Limited. Mm -hmm. And now the bartender people are finding out about this information by wiring themselves into the android. Okay, sure, we can keep working. I have a crucial merger to negotiate. Hit me up with something powerful. Okay, well, it sounds like maybe... Are you kidding me? Oh, it's new! Huh. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I think a better way for me to do this might be... I'm gonna make all these shapes first, and then we'll just go through them one by one, okay? Like installing the implants. Okay. I think I've made all of them now. Actually, there were only three. The punk. Induces aversion to corporations and rejection to authority. Don't think that's the one this guy wants. The hippie. Highly enhances your empathy and magnifies compassion. The grandpa. Renders the user immune to implant effects. Oh. Okay, this is really weird because none of them seem to be what this guy is actually asking for. Now is it? Yeah, a crucial merger. I can't give him anything to do with persuasion and... <laughs> well, maybe we should try talking to Ariadne. Hmm. This is the most relevant one, but that's not what he wants. I mean, I guess I can try to give him the hippie. You installed the hippie compassion magnifier in Ferguson. Good job. Just install exactly what they demand. Oh, that was an important one, huh? Wow, all that work and only two things. Hmm, interesting. To make someone who controls such a substantial part of the city's money flow become a charitable soul. Christmas is gonna be huge this year. Hmm, I imagine that if we gave the one, if we gave the punk to that guy, then that guy might have to step down in his position, but then a new guy will just replace him, so 
Huh, maybe if it's like this, I can make the city a better place. Joanna Septis, COO. I've been dealing with strong anxiety crisis lately. Due to our recent company plans, I need to get a hold of myself. Strong anxiety crisis. Hmm, maybe this one would be good. What kind of a city am I shaping here? Okay, fine. Give her the punk. Ooh, these are all important. Good job. Just install exactly what they demand. This rebellious urge is not gonna do any good for her emotional crisis. I bet we can expect some crazy shit on the news soon. In any case, I wonder what she's so anxious about. Let's try digging into her neural drive. With all due respect, that doesn't really seem ethical. Well, Kara, that's what we revolutionaries do. We break rules in pursuit of a better world. How can breaking the rules lead to a better world? The question is, who defined the rules in the first place? To properly answer that question, I'll need to delve deeper into the meaning and implication of rules. Then I'll be able to determine who should be... This can't be possible! Hmm? If you ever get the chance, you should try talking ethics with your creators, not me. I just uncovered the most fucked up scheme a corporation has tried to pull yet. Supercontinent is planning to transform us all into a pile of smiling brainless dolls. Uh oh! Is that a gun? The project goes by the name of Social Psyche Welfare. It involves every human being with implants in them. No shit they've been slashing the prices on implants over the last few years. I read here that currently more than 59% of the population wears some kind of upgrade. But they plan to expand that program to 99.7% of the population by some sort of... Mirror Neuron Algorithm? What's that? They plan to execute this on... What? But this is... Oh shit. Who makes the rules? Akara 184 Commitment Compromised. Dismissing unit. Uh-oh. I think we gotta go. And that's how she ended up here. Fuck! What happened? I got to know and feel how Akara here got wrecked. She was gunned down by the clinic's security system. Along with Ariadne. Shame. I like that girl. Revolutionaries don't live long. But we do live in tents. Oh no. Are you a revolutionary now? Don't tell me you're planning on finishing that girl's job. It's not that. Just before she was zapped, Ariadne discovered a pretty fucked up scheme. From Supercontinent Limited? What a surprise. Shut up. I mean fucked up even for a corporation. They're moving into mind control. A system or something called social psyche welfare. And it will manipulate implant wearers. So allow me to take this personal aim. Eh? It does sound fucked up even for a corporation. See Donovan doesn't care because he doesn't have implants. Are you sure about this? Donovan, they killed Ariadne just for reading out loud. Okay, okay. But let me dig a little deeper into all this before you try to pull some crazy stunt. Don't want you joining the revolutionary grave. Human improvement compromised. Oh, that makes sense now. What do we do with them? Hmm. Akara is an android specialized in empathy, right? Let's have them patched up. I have an idea. Oh, now she's a bartender here. Welcome to the Red Strings Club. And I thought I was the crazy bastard. There's a fine line between a crazy bastard like you and a genius like me. And I don't blame you for not being able to see the difference. Whatever, let's go over the plan. We have to find a way to infiltrate Supercontinent Limited's offices. Then I'll hack their operation down. Bam. 
That's like the last stage of the plan, man. First, we have to know if all this poses a real threat. What it really means and how it'll affect us in this town. Maybe there is even a way to sabotage it without having to send you in. It's a real fucking threat, Donovan. And we don't know how much time we have got left until they turn me into a brainless doll. Okay, how about this? You start securing an infiltration method. Talk with your terrorist friends and their ilk. Do your thing. It'll take you a couple of days at least. In the meantime, I'll gather some intel and make sure we avoid what trouble we can. My investigation will determine what course of action is needed. But... Then, and only then, we'll decide if you go in there. You hear me? If this happens to be as apocalyptic as you predict, I'll back you up with everything I have. You'll go in a lot more prepared this way, don't you think? On the other hand, if we find that this isn't such a big deal, you call off the operation. We pay your hacker friends for the trouble, and that's it. Alright, Donovan, okay. A much wiser way to proceed, no? Yes, 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 okay, you're right. Thank you, Donovan. You're very welcome, handsome. A client is approaching the club. Wow, how do you know? I'm accessing footage from all recording devices in proximity of the club in real time to better help Donovan. You can do that? I told you they make a great aid. Now go, I know who's coming. I called the consultant, engineer, who was recently hired by Supercontinent to work on some new bionics firmware. I've worked with her in the past and my instincts tell me she's got something to do with all this. You sure pull the red strings quick? Time is of the essence. Don't want my favorite crazy bastard to turn into a brainless doll. Haha. <laughs> Goodbye, genius. I'll keep you posted. Alright, Akara. Remember, don't interact with the client unless necessary. Welcome them to the club and thank them when they leave. If your empathy superpowers make you aware of something you want to share with me, wait until we're alone in the club. Got me? Understood. Alright. Welcome to the Red Strings Club, Diana Mays. That's not creepy at all. Before I walked in here, you already know my name. Okay, I think this is a pretty logical place for me to stop for this first look today. I am a little bit undecided about the Red Strings Club so far. I think we just made it past the introduction, and now we're really starting the whole thing. Uh, just based off this first hour here, I feel like what we've seen so far is kind of unbalanced. We've only done the bartending one little bit, but the pottery, oh my god. I've done it so many times that I would be totally okay with not doing it ever again. So I'm not sure how to feel about that part. I do like the background and the setting they have going on here, and the fact that we start off with the death of the main character here. Can we see the red strings? Here we go. Yeah. And we start off- oh my god, there's so many here. And there's no quick way for me to scroll past this. But anyway, you've seen it before, you know what I'm talking about. So in one hour, I've made three decisions so far. And there's plenty, plenty left. And judging by this, the Red Strings Club seems like it's a longer game than I initially imagined. Which, uh, there's nothing wrong with that, but I sort of expected it to be a little bit shorter. But seems like that's not going to be the case. Yeah, so that's pretty much for my first impressions with the Red Strings Club. It seems like they have got something interesting going on here, but I am undecided about it because... I feel like the first hour of any game should really be the most engaging to hook in the player. But I had to do the pottery 10 plus times, and I think some of it probably is because I was experimenting with it, so I didn't get the right implant right off the bat. But the whole sequence there felt like they wanted you to fail a few times to realize that, hey, just because someone says what they want doesn't mean that's what will make them happy. So what I'm trying to say here is that the repetition in the pottery part seemed to be intended and <laughs> it kind of wore me out. In the description of the game, they also mentioned impersonating people on the phone and we haven't gotten to that part yet. So I have no doubt that we haven't seen the bulk of what this game is like. 
But um, yeah, anyway, like I said, this is my first impressions of the Red Strings Club. Feel free to let me know what you think about the game so far. And I will see you all in another place, in another time. Bye!